Moms who serve in public life bring unique skills and perspectives to the table. They also are often subject to scrutiny about their ability to effectively balance the responsibilities of a public official and the demands of motherhood. At the Illinois Opportunity Project, it's our privilege to work with candidates, legislators, and activists who are both remarkable women and awesome moms. With Mother's Day approaching, we decided to ask them to send us a video telling us why they, as a mom, do what they do in their own words. Hi, I'm Brandi McGuire, and I'm running for state representative in the 72nd District. But most importantly, I'm a mother of four children. Why do I do what I do? Why am I running for state representative? Mainly because like every mother, I want to protect my children. And when my daughter was denied her educational rights at a local school, I took on the Board of Education. And now I'm going to take it to Springfield to hopefully be the voice for all people in need, especially for children. Because if it happened to my family, it could happen to any family. And Illinois is very important to me. And I want to keep my kids right here in the state of Illinois. Happy Mother's Day. In 2013, our son graduated from the University of Illinois with his degree in engineering. Yet two weeks later, I was doing one of the hardest things I've ever had to do as his mother, pack him up and move him nearly 1,200 miles away to Texas where he was starting his new job. I never thought I'd see the day when U of I engineers didn't have their best job opportunities in Illinois. Today, as the Illinois State Comptroller, I try to use the very large megaphone of my office to be a strong and loud voice for policies that will help bring businesses and jobs back to our state so all of our children can find their best jobs in Illinois and we can keep our families together. Each of these women have made numerous sacrifices to take on a job that is demanding and often thankless. To advocate for liberty and economic freedom in a state that fights those very ideas at every opportunity, while at the same time volunteering at school and church and managing the household, serving as resident nurse, doctor, or local psychiatrist, along of course with their own personal career goals. We are so fortunate to have them on our side and we want to take this moment and say thank you. Thank you for your dedication, your hard work. And on behalf of the Illinois Opportunity Project, happy Mother's Day. Former Illinois Governor Pat Quinn gave the SCIU and Ask Me the names and home addresses of thousands of moms, mine included. He told them about our disabled sons and daughters who live at home and receive Medicaid. Their intention was to turn our homes into union workplaces and siphon away our sons and daughters' Medicaid funding. As a mother, I protected my right to care for my son without intrusion. I refused to be bullied into compliance with their scheme. I do what I do to protect my family. Thank you to the moms out there who never quit, not on the responsibilities they take on in office and not on their families. They sit in gyms or on fields for countless hours to let their kids play the games they love. They stay up late to finish work or skip dinner to attend a meeting in their community. These women teach their children to be independent and they work with us tirelessly to make Illinois a state in which people can stand on their own two feet. Thank you for never quitting, no matter how tough it gets. Have a happy Mother's Day. I got involved because I saw what the future my children may be uh, having to, to live with. And I, I thought it was unfair that our, pol our generation had piled on a lot of debt for them, have lessened their economic abilities, have limited their freedoms in many ways, and have restricted their opportunities uh, to live the life that we've been able to live. And I knew that if you change out the politicians, you can change out the policies. And so that's why I decided to get involved because I want my children to have a better future. And so that's why I do what I do. One vote can change a nation. One person can change a life. Just for a moment, imagine what our world would be like with self-confident, intelligent, and courageous role models. We think they just might change the world, don't you? Imagine if the U.S. Congress or the Illinois General Assembly had just one more legislator with the courage to stand her ground in the face of powerful political opposition. That is exactly what these women are working to do. Their willingness to stand up, even if they stand alone, gives us hope that theirs are the votes that will turn Illinois and our nation around, and hope that theirs are the lives that will ensure liberty and freedom survive for the next generation. They have already changed the world for the better, and we know they have much more to contribute. These women are exactly why we at the Illinois Opportunity Project do what we do. 
We know there are a lot of mothers out there who do the very same thing. If you're one of them, let us know. Upload your own video on social media and tag it with hashtag IOP Mother's Day. Here are some of the responses we've received so far. I have to say I was a little bit reluctant to get involved in politics at first because we have very young children and because of the nature of political discourse in our days that it's quite divisive, particularly if you're a conservative who disagrees with liberals. But this Mama Grizzly was awakened when my elementary school daughter came home and was being taught that the primary threat facing polar bears was global warming or when my other elementary school daughter came home and was being taught the UN's Universal Declaration of Human Rights as the basis for human rights, instead of the Declaration of Independence or the U.S. Constitution. It breaks my heart to see a generation of young people being led astray and told lies about the nature of liberty and the founding of our country among many other things. Like Thomas Paine said, those who expect to reap the blessings of liberty must undergo the pains of supporting it. Hi, my name is Tonya Khoury, and I'm running for U.S. Congress in the 11th District. But most of all, I'm a mom. We have three children, ranging from a sophomore in college to a high schooler to a middle schooler. And when I start thinking about their future and the future of our country and the direction it's going, I need to do something about it. And people ask me all the time, why do I want to do this? And my answer is simple. What are the good people of this country supposed to do? Throw our hands up? Give up? We can't. So again, my name's Tonya Khoury. I'm running for Congress. I'm standing up and taking action. And I ask you to join me. Hello, my name is Joan McCarthy Lassonde, and I'm running for Congress in Illinois. I'm a working mom with over 25 years professional experience, and I'm running for Congress to make a difference. But my greatest pride and joy in life is my children. I have two biological daughters and a little foster daughter who's lived with us for almost three years. Our children are our future. Our children are our legacy. To all the moms out there, rejoice. Our holiday has come. Happy Mother's Day. How do I train up my son so that he will be known as a man of integrity when he is old? That was the challenge I took on as a new mother. And now being in the stage when I call my two sons young men, it has become very rewarding to see the fruits, not just of my labor, but also theirs. As a longtime resident in District 46, it has become clear to me that the fruit being produced by the policymakers in Springfield is rotten. We have high unemployment, massive debt, and high taxes. As concerned citizens, we need to rise to the challenge and remove those legislators who continue to support that type of production system. Why am I challenging the status quo in Springfield? Because we can do better.